Hi, I'm Asha and welcome to Brighton. So today's video is a continuation of the last video which was on downhill stopping techniques. So if you didn't see the last video, um, I covered the heel brake stop, the plow stop, the T stop and the power slide, all of which are brilliant for downhill stops. Now, um, if you missed that video, it'll be right next to this video in the same playlist. Okay, so check that one out first. Um, there were quite a lot of comments on that video about people saying, oh, you haven't looked at slalom turns or turning to get down a hill. And uh, I did mean to say that that video was just for straight line downhill stopping versions where you don't have much width either side. Okay, but of course, the other way of getting down hills, if you have the space laterally, is to do slalom turns and to control your speed and stop that way. So this video is all about downhill controlling and stopping your speed with turns. Those of you who are skiers, this is about as close as the feeling you can get of, of skiing, but on skates, so enjoy. We're gonna begin first with the parallel turn. Make sure you can do the parallel turn in both directions on the flat first. So right foot forward to turn right and left foot forward to turn left. If your weight's correctly on the back leg, you should be able to tap the front skate easily. Now you're going to take it to the slope. So you're going to do small parallel turns facing uphill at the end. This means you're not going to accelerate too fast. In fact, you're going to stop at the end of each turn facing uphill. Now link two turns together, parallel turn, change scissor, and parallel turn, face up at the end so you don't go too fast. The next stage is to do half circle turns and change scissor on the perpendicular to the slope. So this is gonna go a little bit faster, but you're gonna not accelerate. So you've got a half circle parallel turn, change scissor in a straight line. Half circle parallel turn, change scissor sideways to the slope. Each time bending down on the back knee, and if you really go sideways across the slope, you will not accelerate. Finally, the last way, the diagonal. So you're gonna change scissor here on the 45 degree diagonal. This is gonna be much faster. You're not gonna accelerate as fast as going straight down, and you're controlling your speed. And now for the lunge turn. So this remains in a scissor position, but now it's shoulder width apart and more weight on the front knee. So the lighter leg, the one out to the side, can be straight or slightly bent, but much more weight on the front knee. So again, make sure you can do your lunge turns in both directions on the flat, right foot forward to turn right, left foot forward to turn left, and then take it to your slope. Each time you can face uphill to stop so you don't go too fast. So now you're going to lunge turn and change scissor perpendicular to the slope. So notice that deep knee bend on the front knee. Most of the weight is going there. So notice the body leaning forwards now, that helps to get more weight on the front mm -hmm. knee, and now changing on the diagonal. The most common problem is your stronger leg always remaining dominant. So in this case, the left leg, this would mean you do a parallel turn to the right and a lunge turn to the left. So look at my left knee, bent at the back in the parallel turn and bent at the front in the lunge turn. So do try to avoid this by practicing all the turns. So I really hope that that was useful for your turns. Now, in general, fundamental point, um, do not start doing the turns on slopes, on any downhill slopes, until you absolutely know that in both directions they are pretty good. So that means you really need to train your weak direction uh, on the flat. Okay, please do not discover that your weak side is too weak to deal with hills when you're already on a slope okay so please you know bear that in mind and when you do begin to link them together on the slope start with two then build up to three etc please do not start at the top of the hill doing lots and lots and lots of turns because it's very possible that by turn number five or six you discover that you're going too fast and you can't stop okay so please treat hills with a lot of respect all right, so I am, I'm done for the day. I might go and enjoy the sunshine. So have a great day, enjoy your practice. I hope this helps and see you next time. Get started now with a free professional video class from inlineskatecourse.com because the better you skate, the better you feel.